The woman of the apocalypse or woman clothed in the sun, Jine Peribeblamen Tun Helion Mula Era Mikta Sol is a figure described in chapter 12 of the Book of Revelation written c. AD 95. The woman gives birth to a male child who is threatened by a dragon, identified as the devil and Satan, who intends to devour the child as soon as he is born. When the child is taken to heaven, the woman flees into the wilderness leading to a war in heaven, in which the angels cast out the dragon. The dragon attacks the woman, who is given wings to escape, and then attacks her again with a flood of water from his mouth, which is subsequently swallowed by the earth. Frustrated, the dragon initiates war on the remnant of her seed, identified as the righteous followers of Christ. The woman of the apocalypse is widely identified as the Virgin Mary. This interpretation is held by the ancient church as well as in the medieval and modern Roman Catholic Church. This view does not negate the alternative interpretation of the woman representing the Church, as in modern Catholic dogma, Mary is herself considered both the Mother of God and the Mother of the Church. Some Catholic commentaries, such as Thomas Haydock's Catholic Bible Commentary 1859, allow for the interpretation of the woman as either the Church or Mary. The Commentary of the New American Bible the official Roman Catholic Bible for America states that the woman adorned with the sun, the moon, and the stars images taken from Genesis chapter 37 verses 9 to 10 symbolizes God's people in the Old and the New Testament. The Israel of old gave birth to the Messiah Rev 12 to 5 and then became the new Israel, the church, which suffers persecution by the dragon Rev 12 to 6, 13 to 17, cf is 50 to 1, 66 to 7, Jer 50 to 12. In Reformed theology and traditions which are averse to Marian veneration, the interpretation of the woman represents the Church. Topic narrative. Topic. The text describes a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. 12-1. The woman is pregnant and about to give birth, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. 12-2. Then there is, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. 12-3. Who is about to, devour her child as soon as it was born. 12-4. But her child is, caught up unto God. 12-5. And the woman herself is, fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days." 12-6 Then there is a description of "...war in heaven," of the angels against the dragon, and "...the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him." 12-9 the woman is again mentioned in 1213, as she is persecuted by the dragon, and two wings of a great eagle are given to her to escape 1214. The dragon attacks her by water as a flood, emerging from his mouth 1215, but the flood is swallowed up by the earth 1216, so the dragon went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. 1217. Topic. Interpretation as the Virgin Mary Topic. Topic. History Topic. Ancient witnesses to the Marian interpretation include Saint Epiphanius, Tychonius who heavily influenced Saint Augustine, the unknown author of the history of Joseph the Carpenter, Quadvultius a disciple of Saint Augustine, Cassiodorus Complexiones in Apocalypse, written c. 570 AD, and the Greek fathers Andreas of Caesarea late 6th c. early 7th c., and Oikomenios 6th c. In modern times, the Marian interpretation has been affirmed by Pope Pius X, Pope Pius XII, Pope Paul VI, and Pope John Paul II. Topic: Theological interpretation. Topic: The woman's male child is a reference to Jesus, Revelation chapter 12 verse 5. Since he is destined to rule all nations with a rod of iron, Revelation chapter 12 verse 5. 
the dragon trying to devour the woman S child at the moment of his birth Revelation chapter 12 verse 4 is a reference to Herod the Great's attempt to kill the infant Jesus Matthew chapter 2 verse 16 Through his death and resurrection Jesus was snatched up to God and to his throne Revelation chapter 12 verse 5 in the interpretation of Pius the 10th 1904 the birth is not that of Jesus but surely ours i.e. the church militant we who, being yet detained in exile, are still to be brought forth to the perfect love of God and eternal happiness." Pius XII 1950 makes explicit the reference to the Assumption of Mary. And John Paul II 1987 to the Protoevangelium interpretation of Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, and by extension the symbolic identification of the woman with both Mary and Eve, for an assessment of the logical and theological reasons for identifying the woman of Revelation chapter 12 with Mary Mother of God, see Brunero Gherardini, raised to heaven because co-redemptrix on earth. Thoughts on the foundation of the Catholic dogma 2012 and Dargan J. L. The Apocalypse. In the Jerome Biblical Commentary, 1968. Topic: Veneration. Topic: Both Marian veneration and the interpretation of the woman of the Apocalypse are recorded since at least the fourth century, but the specific veneration of Mary in this form becomes tangible only in the medieval period. Iconographically, Marian figures associated with the Revelation's narrative are recognizable by the astronomical attributes, specifically her standing on a crescent moon, and the crown of twelve stars while the description, clothed with the sun, is sometimes rendered by rays emanating from her figure. Association of Mary with a single star is recorded from the early medieval period, in the hymn Avenue Maris Stella. Many depictions of Mary from the Gothic period 14th to 16th century show her standing on a crescent moon inspired by the association of Mary with the woman of the Apocalypse. The motif became so popular in 15th century Germany that pre-existing Madonna figures were refitted with a crescent e.g. Madonna of Bad Doberan, c. 1300, refitted in the 15th century. The Virgin of Guadalupe was depicted as the Madonna of the Apocalypse since at least the 16th century. The Madonna of the Apocalypse became associated with Our Lady of the Rosary, the crown of twelve stars, being identified with a rosary of twelve privileges of Mary. The Virgin of the Rosary is frequently shown with the crown or halo of twelve stars but not the crescent moon in modern depictions since the 19th century. A notable example is the Virgin of the Rosary of Pompeii. An anecdote first published in the 1980s connects the design of the flag of Europe 1955 to this aspect of Marian iconography. Topic: <laughs> Interpretation as the Church. Topic: Commentators who adhere to reformed theology in their eschatology sometimes identify the woman as the church and the man child she gives birth to are the saints. According to this interpretation, Revelation chapter 12 verse 17 describes the remnant of the seed of the woman as those who keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. The offspring of the woman, the woman's seed, then refers to the saints. The man-child, who shall rule the nations with a rod of iron, is a symbol of the faithful members of the church. In Revelation chapter 2 verses 18 to 29, the church in Thyatira is promised that the faithful shall rule the nations with a rod of iron. In Revelation chapter 19 verse 15 the same thing is stated of Jesus. In Galatians chapter 4 verse 26, Paul the Apostle refers to the New Jerusalem as our mother. And in Revelation chapter 21 verse 2 and Ephesians chapter 5 verses 21 to 32 the New Jerusalem and the Church is portrayed as the Bride of Christ. The Seventh-day Adventist Church has traditionally identified itself as the end-time, remnant church, described in Revelation chapter 12 verse 17. The Catholic Church recognizes the woman. As part of the polyvalent symbolism that is found in the book in four reference, Israel, the Church, Eve, and Mary. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints also interprets the woman to be the Church, and the man-child to be the political kingdom that will grow out of the Church prior to or during the second coming of Christ. This interpretation arises from Joseph Smith's translation of the twelfth chapter of Revelation. Some in the Church interpret the woman to be a symbol of the earth. 
Baptisms of fire and water being poured upon the earth and the sun clothing the earth daily are just a couple examples of this reference. Other interpretations The nation of Israel Dispensational premillennialists, and amillennialists who believe in multiple valid interpretations will often identify the woman as the nation of Israel. There are several reasons given to support this interpretation. The woman is said to be clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, and twelve stars. These symbols are drawn from Genesis chapter 37 verses 9 to 11, in which Joseph has a dream of the sun and moon symbolizing his father and mother, and stars representing his eleven brothers, which bow down to him. The Old Testament's prophets referred to Israel as a woman. Isaiah chapter 54 verses 5 to 6, Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 31, Micah chapter 4 verses 9 to 10. The woman flees into the wilderness where she is nourished for 1260 days, the equivalent of three and a half years or 42 months. Cf. Rev. 11 to 1 minus 3. According to this interpretation, these terms are used prophetically in Scripture either for the first half or the last half of the. 70th week of Daniel. In Daniel chapter 9 verses 24 to 27, a prophecy specifically addressed to Daniel and his people, Israel, Dan, 9 24, in the latter part of the 70th week, a remnant of Israel will flee into the wilderness to escape the persecution of Antichrist, who is called, the son of destruction, the lawless one, and whose coming is in accord with the activity of Satan. 2 Thess, 2 1-12, cf. Rev. 12-4, 9. Jesus, in the Olivet Discourse, warned the people of this time which would occur just prior to his return to set up his earthly, millennial kingdom Matt, 24 -22. Further, the archangel Michael is called the guardian over the sons of Israel in Dan, 12-1. And he will arise at that time of national Israel's tribulation Dan, 12-1, cf. Rev. 12-7, Amillennialist belief can also interpret this passage as the nation of Israel, however this belief as expressed by Amillennialists refers, not to the modern Israel, but to the ancient religious state of Israel Judea as it existed in the time of Christ. The child is Christ, born into the then existing state of Israel, and of Israel's lineage. The remnant are sons of Israel as, in this understanding, the followers of Christ, the followers of the true religion of Israel as it exists after the coming of the Messiah. The 70th week of Daniel and prophecy of the Olivet Discourse, in this belief, are ascribed as concerning the first coming of Christ, the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD during which enforced emperor worship occurred in the Temple of Jerusalem, which was later almost totally destroyed, and many Jews were made slaves in distant lands resulting presumably in their remaining families not knowing what happened to them or where they were, and the establishment of Christ's Church, as it currently exists, both on earth and in heaven. Lutheran scholar Craig Coaster, for example, says, the woman encompasses the story of Israel, from whom the Messiah was born, as well as the story of the Church, which was persecuted after Jesus' death and resurrection. John's visionary account of the threat against the woman and the woman's preservation uses imagery that encompasses many moments in the story of God's people. This allows the story to apply to people in many times and places. Astrological symbolism Topic. Russian Orthodox theologian Sergei Bulgakov in his interpretation of Revelation notes of the astronomical attributes of the woman in Babylonian, Persian, Greek, and Egyptian mythologies. He takes the crown of twelve stars as representing the zodiac. In his interpretation, astronomical attributes of a pagan goddess are here translated into the language of Christian theology and assume the new symbolism. Topic: The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Topic: In Joseph Smith's inspired translation of the King James Bible, the woman is identified as the Church of God. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore years. 
and there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought against Michael, and the dragon prevailed not against Michael, neither the child, nor the woman which was the church of God, who had been delivered of her pains, and brought forth the kingdom of our God and his Christ. Revelation chapter 12 verses 1 to 17 JST Topic. Christian science Topic. Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures 1875, the foundational text of Christian science, presents the woman in the Apocalypse as symbolizing generic man, the spiritual idea of God, she illustrates the coincidence of God and man as the divine principle and divine idea. The spiritual idea of God's motherhood. The man-child represents Christ, God's idea, which will eventually rule all nations and peoples, imperatively, absolutely, finally, with divine science. Topic. See also. Topic. Virgin of Guadalupe. Whore of Babylon. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Chivalric precursors to Saint George and the Dragon. Fourteen images under Wikimedia. Virgin and Serpent. Immaculata as radiation of fatherhood. One hundred twenty-six images under Wikimedia. Monzical Madonna. Scriptural Parturition Imagery of Revelation Chapter 12, 24 Images under Wikimedia, Woman of the Apocalypse Eastern Icon of the Type Matka Boska Ostrobromska, 28 Images Our Lady of the Gate of Dawn at the Eastern Gate, Vilnius, Lithuania